Hello everyone, it's Pierre here. Uh, today we had a live session about uh, how to use uh, TradingView. So um, here is the recording, uh, guys. I hope uh, you find it uh, helpful. Don't forget to give it some thumbs up if you like it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more uh, great videos and uh, live sessions. So uh, yeah, see you there. So uh, this is how it looks like, or uh, actually it looks like this when you enter. Um, you enter to the main page, uh, as you see here. Uh, you enter at the, the main page, and this is the view you're gonna see. Uh, you're gonna see uh, the top authors um, here daily. Uh, what top author uh, weekly or monthly or all time um, You can also if you want to find uh, any special author you can just click on the uh, on this um, here and uh, you enter find author up here to the right and let's find me <laughs> and You hit the enter button and here you go uh, when you find uh, the author, you uh, just click on the profile and then you can see uh, all, um, all the ideas. Uh, if you click here, you're going to see all my published ideas. Uh, you can see uh, the ideas uh, that uh, the person you're looking at, uh, what ideas uh, they commenting and um, you can click on following and you see uh, which uh, other uh, authors uh, uh, I'm following or the guy you're looking at or the girl. <laughs> then uh, if uh, you can also see if um, uh, the person you're looking at have any scripts publi published yet. I don't have what uh, who, uh, who are following and um, who I am following and of course you can enter uh, on the set on the settings if you need to change anything yeah uh, you can also let me change that uh, add the status here about uh, about uh, anything that you yet yeah, that you need to inform your um, Followers, uh, you can uh, change your status here. Um, just click on it and uh, write uh, what you want to uh, write. Let's us publish. Uh, let's publish uh, this uh, event today. So I just uh, uh, copy and paste here. And now uh, everyone that follow me gonna gonna get this. Um, uh, notification that I changed my status and they are gonna read that so uh, <coughs> in this same page you see reputation uh, you gain reputation by uh, being um, um, by contrib contributing to, uh, to the channel uh, to, uh, to the platform yeah by following by uh, liking other ideas or commenting on other ideas or answering comments that you get on your ideas that way you build your reputations and uh, as you see here views is how how many views um, on my ideas you can see also how many published ideas I have how many likes and how many followers yeah and as you see here uh, what uh, are the uh, assets that I publish uh, most of the time yeah 82% Porex and 18% uh, others um yeah i don't think there's lots more um, about um, the profile uh, page um, you have also up here ideas if you want to uh, search for uh, any special idea as you see here you can follow all market stocks or uh, anything else currencies also uh, only indices uh, you uh, you change it the way you want it uh, if you want to uh, see uh, what is trending today uh, you can choose most uh, discussed most viewed most agreed uh, let's click on most agreed uh, and let's take all market and 
all authors yeah and as you see here of course Anil Mangal uh, is uh, top uh, is a uh, top author of all time uh, in this page and uh, of course his idea gonna show here first when you click on uh, most agreed yeah and uh, you can also click on most viewed uh, and the same goes here because Anil is very very popular and so uh, this page here uh, idea page you have uh, the possibility to look at many many things uh, stocks commodities currencies whatever uh, you want to um, find an idea about you will find it here or you can also search let's say uh, usd uh, uh, euro usd yeah uh, you write to euro usd and you will um, directly uh, go to the euro usd chart and uh, start to get uh, the idea that's published about uh, that pair yeah and uh, if you want to uh, to see today or this week you just change it to this week and you will start to see uh, all the ideas about usd that been published uh, this week yeah uh, so uh, that's that's how you uh, find ideas you can also choose uh, the authors you follow only or only your ideas or all the ideas then we have a script if you like to uh, find uh, any scripts that you want to use on uh, trading view you will find them uh, in this page i personally don't use any scripts uh, as many of you knows, uh, <laughs> all I use is uh, moving average and RSI and that's enough for me so uh, I will not be able to answer any question about that. Okay, uh, let me see. yeah it's like it's, it's almost about a social media trading platform yeah exactly because uh, uh, there is a chat there is uh, many sections where you can uh, a chat with people and I I'm gonna show you that there is also private chat uh, when you publish your idea you can get uh, comment about it and likes and stuff like that so yeah exactly it's a uh, you can say it's a social media platform also but uh, the best thing about trading view in my opinion and the reason I am using it and the reason I bought uh, a pro uh, account <coughs> after uh, you can actually uh, try um, for free for one month a pro account <clears throat> but then you have to pay it and uh, there is i think there is three possibilities um, about uh, the pro the, uh, they have also pro plus plus i think something like that but the main reason i am using it is uh, the charting and uh, uh, we're gonna talk about that right now as you see here when I click a chart <clears throat> I have already some charts that um, some of them are named some of them are unnamed support resistant white uh, those unnamed um, I just um, did use them a uh, while ago I have a chart where I was uh, when I was uh, looking a little bit about the Elliott wave and I have this one black that mean it's a uh, black theme yeah so uh, let's go to a chart and uh, we we'll start to uh, show you uh, how the tools work and uh, all the stuff in there is there any video about on your moving average um, I talk um, I talk a bit about my the moving average I am using in my in all almost all my uh, weekly uh, weekly overview that I use on uh, my channel um, Rashid uh, so uh, feel free to uh, follow me on my channel and you will uh, and you will uh, see him there uh, so i was just cleaning uh, the chart so we can start from th the scratch <coughs> okay guys when you hit a chart it's gonna look uh, something like this i have uh, i've did some uh, uh, already i have some um, tools in my f uh, favorite toolbox so we will talk about that uh, also 
So uh, before uh, we get to start talking about uh, the charting tools, I want to show you uh, this check section uh, to the right here. Uh, when you click at uh, this one, it, uh, uh, this is the watch list box. Uh, as a pro user, you can add as many watch lists as you want. As you see here, when I, when I click on this uh, icon here, uh, I can click on create a new uh, new list. Let's uh, let's name it uh, Forex Gods. Yeah, <laughs> and you hit the save button. Then all you need to do is add a symbol. You just click up here, and uh, you enter uh, the symbol you want. Uh, Aussie USD. And then you have them as you see here. Um, directly in the list yeah when you want if you want to delete any of them you click delete and they will go from here uh, what I like about this one uh, um, that I have as you see here uh, many many uh, lists that I use but uh, if uh, let's um, if we click on this that I call hot it's my hot watch list and that's mean uh, the list of the next coming one to two weeks where I where uh, there is possibility for me for uh, uh, or uh, any setups that I think I want to trade I put them in the the hot list then you have uh, all currencies and there I have uh, much more almost all the currencies that I used to uh, look at to find uh, any setups i have one for metals uh, as you see here so uh, those um, those things you i uh, you don't have them in the uh, free version but you don't actually need them and you can uh, live without them i am sure <laughs> so um, it's up to you guys yeah uh, so that what uh, was about uh, the watch list you can all also uh, import watch list you can export them you can clear all the symbols uh, up here the next very good thing is this the alert alert sections and um, in this one you can um, manage your alerts when you when you want uh, um, to get uh, alerted about uh, price uh, hitting a special um, a special area in the chart you're gonna need those they are very very useful and i use them uh, a lot in my trading um, but i think it's the same about this uh, in the free uh, version i think you have one to two uh, alerts uh, but in the pro i think i have about 10 uh, alerts that i can use at the same time so uh, what you what you can do uh, when you uh, working with alerts like say that uh, this is the gold chart those of you who watch my uh, weekly overview i said that i'm gonna trade uh, i'm looking for uh, gold to uh, Come back up here to this level yeah so if i want uh, to know about that when price is here to watch uh, the price action all you all i have to do you see here uh, where where i'm pointing right now you have this plus button you just click on it and uh, you have three choices sell limit buy stop and uh, up here you have uh, add alert yeah you click on that and you automat automatically have uh, the alert added to the list here and uh, if you want to modify it you just double click on that alert and uh, you can choose crossing if price crossing up price crossing down greater than less than entering a channel exiting any channel inside a channel but you have to uh, define those if you uh, when you uh, click inside the channels you have to define uh, which price level uh, you want uh, the alarm to go off uh, on when um, uh, when they touch uh, that inside channel what i usually use is uh, the crossing 
because uh, as you I would just want to know when the price hit this level and that's uh, good enough for me you can choose uh, if you want to get alerted uh, once uh, or uh, or uh, every one minute every five ten minutes it's up to you and uh, what will happen if you are sitting um, um, and using your uh, computer uh, it's gonna sound an alarm uh, a clock alarm um, and you can choose here what sound do you want it's also uh, up to you and for how long um, I actually um, what I like about it it uh, that it sent me an email and there is where I almost use it all the time I want to get an email if you are uh, if you uh, click on SMS then you have to upgrade your pro, pro plan yeah I don't use that uh, at the moment because I have um, I got all the emails on my phone and uh, I see them directly on my screen when I get them so that's work for me as uh, getting an SMS also so uh, I don't uh, see any need for that if you want to add it uh, it's not a problem at all and uh, you you're gonna get this message here a gold crossing uh, 1215 you can change it to what you want to uh, whatever you want to gold uh, is um, in kill zone yeah it, it, it actually don't matter all what, all what you want to, do, uh, to know is the, that you get uh, an alarm about the price level yeah and then you click done and it's it's gonna be up here uh, you can also click on stop and uh, that alarm will not go or you can click on delete and it, it will get deleted all the old alarms you have uh, they keep um, they still in here you can when they go on um, you can just click on restart if you want to use the same levels or you just delete them to uh, keep this list uh, clean as you see here you have also uh, this alert log uh, CAD uh, 8, uh, 8th of March uh, 1939 uh, I get an alarm and you can you can just click on it and it will get you uh, get you directly to that chart yeah so uh, the alarm um, uh, for me is very very good uh, and then here uh, you have uh, a data windows about uh, high low close nothing special about that you can also see them up here so uh, I don't use that a lot um, and you have this uh, hot list also what's uh, what's uh, uh, which uh, exchange or uh, which stocks are doing good uh, and which uh, which one are doing bad you can see the VRX up here and because um, uh, it's uh, it's going bad and uh, those ones uh, going good you're gonna see them down here then you have uh, an economic calendar also if you click at it it will uh, show you uh, all the upcoming news um, then you have this uh, idea section here uh, and there uh, where you find your own ideas uh, what you uh, publish uh, by yourself uh, if you're gonna go back to them and you can see from uh, this here how many likes uh, or how many comments and views you have nothing special here uh, all, all it shows you is uh, your own ideas yeah uh, on this one you have uh, the, sh the chat uh, section and uh, what uh, you have you can do here is you uh, click on this one and then down here as you see you can find uh, a chat uh, room you want to uh, be in or uh, you can just uh, scroll down and uh, look uh, for uh, uh, the chat room you are looking for what I used to look at from time to time is uh, the Forex chat of course 
but uh, you have to know also that there is a lots of uh, lots of things going on there and uh, if you are a new trader i don't recommend you to uh, be there or uh, for a long time because it it it's gonna um, make you very confused uh, everyone screaming sell buy sell buy and so from time to time it is blind uh, showing the way to other blinds uh, but uh, there is also very very good people and a very good trader in there too so you have to filter out uh, some uh, some of the things you read there yeah below that you have a private ch chat as you see here uh, and there is where you got uh, messages from uh, people directly to you nothing special about that and in this one here is the idea stream from the uh, people you following you're gonna see their ideas uh, pop up uh, here when they publish anything or when they uh, update any idea you're gonna see it here down here you have um, uh, this notification set um, um, notification uh, sidebar is when uh, someone uh, follow you or uh, like you uh, agree with your ideas or comments on your ideas you're gonna um, get a notification here and uh, from there you can enter if you want to answer that or if you want to read uh, what 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 was the comment yeah A little bit about publishing you have two ways of publishing ideas down here to the corner uh, this blue area here when you click on these three dots you can see that you can um, publish private idea that's mean uh, that you are the only one that gonna see uh, this idea when you publish it it's gonna be it's gonna show you a lock on it as you see here this lock here it's locked so no one else can see it uh, this way um, is very good if you are uh, if you are new to trading or you are test testing something new and you want to see if how it goes in the future so uh, if we let's uh, let's show you some example let's say that i am uh, watching uh, UUSD, yeah, and I'm uh, I let's put a Fibonacci retracement, and I say that uh, uh, this is a bull flag for me. For example, I put uh, lines to the flag and um, something like this, and my idea is uh, now when price. Uh, retraced back to the 50 or the 61.8 that price gonna go yeah it's gonna go uh, to the upside so you do something like this and uh, put your uh, risk to reward somewhere like this okay then you can click on here and click on publish private idea you the title you have to write in something so let's call it bullish flag on EURUSD okay and here you have to uh, put something you can't publish an idea without uh, uh, describing what's going on uh, even if it is uh, uh, private so uh, let's say uh, I'll buy the flag break out yeah uh, break out and you can click on long neutral or short depend on the idea in this case we are long and this will look the same thing when you publish uh, an idea uh, to the public yeah uh, it is the same thing uh, you can also uh, link to a related idea if you uh, if you published ideas before you can just uh, click this and uh, scroll down to the idea you want to link uh, uh, let's say you have already an idea about uh, EURUSD uh, let's say this one 
you can link to it uh, as many ideas as you want and you can add tags euro usd long or euro usd only or euro usd for forecast or whatever yeah um, when you've done that uh, this is a private idea i don't think you want to put it on twitter but you can also click that you want to publish it on Twitter and uh, it will do that for you. Uh, it's the same thing as if you were uh, publishing that uh, uh, publicly. Yeah? And here, as you know, you can uh, change the text uh, as, as you want. Uh, nothing special about it. You can, uh, when you click on B, you're going to get a bolder text. Yeah, And then you all you do is you click on publish yeah now it's published and that is privately and um, you have about 15 minutes you can still um, delete the idea after 15 minutes you can't you can't edit it and you can't delete it yeah uh, the edit you just click on edit and uh, add if change what you want to change and then you click on edit idea um, if you want to uh, delete your idea you can just click on delete and it will be deleted but after 15 minutes you can't delete it you can't edit it then when this trade uh, keep going you can uh, you start uh, you want to update you click on uh, let's go back and show you where the idea is right now you click on this uh, my ideas here and here we go and as you see this lock show you that this is a private idea you click on it and uh, let's say uh, uh, after some hours you want to update you just uh, trade active um, I just went long at uh, blah 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 at this level price and you just hit update idea as you see here now it's very slow it don't used to it don't used to take uh, so much time come on trading view <laughs> I maybe can't update idea before it is it uh, it have been uh, sometimes but anyway as you see here that what you can do you can also uh, take a picture of your idea you click on uh, the camera down here and uh, as you see here you can just click on copy link copy to, to clipboard and if you want to update uh, with a picture you go back to update idea and just uh, uh, put that link in here and uh, hit the update and as you see now those you can't delete them because you're gonna be updated uh, all the update you can not change them you can't delete them yeah and if you want to say that you uh, close the idea target reached or stop reached uh, trading cancelled uh, trade uh, close trade manually you can just uh, choose that and uh, click on update idea and it will show that in the in your uh, uh, in this lifetime of the idea yeah so let's delete this idea now before before it stucks there <laughs> and all that all those things we did you can use um, the same thing when you publish a public idea all you want to do you just click this lock one click to open it one click to close it back when it's closed it's private when it's open it's a public idea yeah uh, very very easy and uh, very simple uh, many of you see me publish um, build, uh, many pictures on uh, our uh, 
in the Forex God uh, group on Facebook. And uh, what I usually used to do is uh, click clicking on the on this camera here and uh, copy link and then just paste it in uh, in the in the site and it's gonna show if you want it as an image you can click it again and you click on save image and as you see here it's open a new uh, a new tab you only right click on the image and uh, save it uh, this text here is in Swedish, but uh, for you, uh, it's gonna of course show in your language on your uh, uh, what um, Windows or uh, <laughs> computer you are using. Yeah, so very very easy too. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, so um, let's start uh, looking at uh, at the tools section and. Um, so far, uh, I don't see any questions. So if you have any questions, just uh, put them in the in the chat box, guys, and I will try to answer them. Are we uh, are we clear so far? Just give me a yes, please, or no, so uh, I can go to uh, the tool sections and a uh, little bit about uh, the indicators and uh, or, and how to uh, make uh, multi chart. Uh, several charts in the same windows mm. okay i don't see any yes or no so <laughs> i hope i hope uh, that we are clear guys on this one so um, let's uh, let's keep going then as you see here uh, to the left uh, this is uh, the toolbox and uh, this one up here I don't I don't use it a lot but um, I just use the cross because uh, I like it when uh, when I see this cross it's gonna give me uh, these uh, crossing line if you want if I want to find a level like this as you see you have uh, I don't know if you can uh, see them uh, on your side because uh, they are uh, um, not so dark but uh, that's why I use the cross but you if you don't like it you can just uh, use the dot uh, for me I use the cross and you have the eraser or or the arrow uh, the erasers uh, nothing special about it you put a line and you want to delete it you can take the eraser but there is other easier easier way to do that and I will show you that so this up here I don't use it a lot what I use a lot is this one here and uh, as you see guys you have this um, this star here uh, I want to I wa I'm gonna take off my favorite list and uh, I show you how it works um, all this do is open a list for you and uh, I use trend lines a lot so what you can do it you is you click on uh, this start star here and it you will gonna see it up here and this uh, panel that is always uh, open for you to use yeah so I have you can just add to your favorite your favorite tools by uh, clicking on the star and uh, vertical line arrow I use a lot let's add this one to back and uh, horizontal line I use a lot also as you see you have the those in the panels and you can switch them as you want yeah you can uh, change them uh, as you want and uh, when you have them up here you there is no need to uh, open this section and find what you're looking at yeah but you have horizontal line you have uh, uh, trend angle lines uh, if you want to know uh, any angle uh, in this uh, of any move you just put it up here and uh, if you use that that you want to see how strong the move is to downside or if it's uh, uh, as this one 
let's look at this one up here let me change this a little bit as you see here uh, this move uh, was uh, 46 uh, degrees and this move was much much uh, stronger about 60 de degrees that shows you a little bit how strong uh, is the down move but of course there is n another way to look at that um, you have um, this horizontal array that I use a lot uh, let's say that I want to mark this top only and I don't want uh, a horizontal line on, on the whole chart as you see here uh, so uh, you can use uh, this one if you need it to uh, mark just one level as uh, this one here yeah and uh, if you want to make it longer you just click on this when it shows this th circle here you can make it longer and shorter it and uh, or move it any way you want what you have to know about uh, the tools guys that every time look uh, look up here now when i click on uh, the line every time uh, you mark any uh, tool uh, on the chart you're gonna get uh, a box like this one uh, you have remove you have hide if you want to hide it you have lock when you click on the lock then you will you can't move that uh, this by uh, accidentally or uh, you just it just locked so uh, you will never uh, be able to move it until you lock up this you have uh, this if you want to clone it to make a new one or copy or sync it yeah then you have bring to front send to back bring forward one step send back one step uh, it depends on what you use because uh, I use that a lot when I'm I am using boxes let's say I have this box here uh, and I want it behind uh, behind the bars all I need to do is click on uh, the settings and uh, click on send to back and now it is as you see behind the candles and not as as you see now it's in the front of the candles so uh, that what uh, that's why uh, you can use that uh, from time to time then um, a line like this can be also an alarm any uh, line uh, even trend lines if you put it you if you draw a trend line like this one and let's say let's say you have uh, this trend line between uh, this low and this low and you want you want to get an alarm uh, when this uh, when the price uh, hit this trend line all you need to do is you mark the trend line and you click up here in the settings on add alert you just click on that and click create And now uh, this trend line uh, as you see down here it have a red clock uh, the clock is always the same color as the line but uh, that also mean when it's a red clock it mean that uh, the, the alarm did it go yet when price hit and you get the alarm then this clock down here gonna uh, gonna get a gray uh, color that I use a lot both uh, for trend line uh, boxes uh, and uh, and horizontal lines uh, the support and resistant line so uh, this one uh, is very good to use to get alarms and uh, when you delete this line you're gonna get a confirmation asking you if you really want to delete this line cause it have an alarm in it you only click uh, you just click yes yeah because uh, sometimes you uh, maybe don't want to uh, delete uh, a line that have uh, alarm in it that's why it give you a warning other otherwise if it is only uh, a line without a warning uh, you just click uh, on delete and it uh, will uh, go off yeah 
Uh, yes, um, that's what uh, we had about uh, all this line. Uh, nothing special. Uh, I think you can just uh, uh, do this by yourself to uh, test all these. But uh, uh, there is also a parallel channel that you, if you want to make a channel, let's say you want to make a channel like this, you click where, uh, which bottoms or tops you want to use. You start maybe down here and the uh, second low is down here and you just drag as many uh, as much as you want to make your channel and uh, as i said before all the tools have settings uh, you see here the same settings but you can also click on the settings and uh, you maybe don't want this line in the middle and you just uh, check it off and it will go or you may you want it and you want uh, uh, a thicker line in the middle you just change in here the same things go uh, about the borders if you want them uh, thicker if you want them also dotted you can click uh, you can change it up here and uh, you can change uh, the color of uh, the border the background uh, if you want to make it uh, red and also uh, you can change the opacity of uh, all the colors as you see here if you want to uh, have um, strong opacity or low opacity you can just change it down here yeah and uh, if you want it to be extended or not as you see you just uh, click on here if you don't want it to be extended to right or left visibility you can choose on all the uh, tools on the chart if you want to see them uh, on all time frames on or only on uh, let's say you just want those to be on uh, hourly and minutes time frame then you check off the daily weekly and monthly and they're gonna be there when you do all changes let's say you always want all your channel want them the same settings as this one you can click on template and that can do uh, that thing can you do on almost all the tools uh, where you can personalize your uh, templates so you click here and you just hit the save as let's call this one red you call it red and click on save and every time uh, you want to use that template you're gonna be able to do so let's change to this one the old one or double click on it and go back to red and you're gonna get this one and uh, that can you use on all the tools guys yeah and you see here uh, those thick line you can also change them from here how thick you want your line and uh, the color and uh, here you have the templates uh, below that we have the brush nothing special a brush with also same uh, goes here uh, how thick you want it if you want it uh, to start with an arrow or end with an arrow you can change it too and the same goes for the ray and uh, all the trend line you can put arrows on them or just uh, if you want them to end only like this you can do that too change colors and thickness also in here yeah click on it and delete and we'll go off that is the brush you have the rectangle that I use a lot nothing special about it it's a rectangle uh, you make it how big you want and uh, you have uh, same goes here lots of settings uh, right now I don't have color on uh, um, around this channel but because I have the opacity on zero so if you want uh, something like this uh, you just go uh, you click on this pen and change it to whatever color and how uh, strong opacity you want yeah same goes uh, in the background in the box 
and about how thick you want uh, the line around it you can change it up here so this is uh, nothing special it's up to you what you want to like to use and not to use I just uh, like them uh, plain as this one and the same goes uh, here I have also some template rectangle only resistant or support and uh, it's about uh, some colors and stuff like this so not, nothing special about it but just so you know that you can change uh, what template you want on all the tools uh, I don't think I want I need to show you how to use those it's uh, curve or arc or stuff like this uh, you just uh, use it you just enter when you log in and uh, test by yourself yeah uh, here where uh, you have uh, the text section you see lots I use this uh, a lot in my uh, chart and uh, this called the call out uh, this I use a lot you double click on it and you change uh, the text to whatever you want uh, Pierre lives here <laughs> and uh, you can change uh, the color of the background to whatever color you want let's make it blue and the border red and how thick you want the border here you can change the font you have uh, i think four uh, four to use and the color of the text and uh, how big text you want you can choose uh, here and if you want it bold or not coordinate if you want uh, this to be in a special price i don't uh, use that at all i just use coordinate if i want to put a support and resistant line or something like that and the same goes here if you want it to be visible in any time frame you can uh, choose that and if you want to save this uh, those settings and those colors uh, as a template you just save as yeah or you can just uh, click on apply defaults and you're gonna get uh, the default settings back uh, so the call out uh, I use a lot uh, and plain text same uh, goes here uh, you have Uh, you have this uh, plain text uh, same scenario just uh, choose the colors and write what you want to write uh, how big the the font you want to have and uh, if uh, if you want the background you just click on it and give it a background color and you can every time you have color you can work with the opacity on all uh, tools yeah if you want to add borders the same things go there and if you want text wrap you just click on that and uh, what you will get is uh, this one here that uh, help you to uh, put the text uh, in the box in um, depends on how big text you have yeah so um, yeah not much to talk about there you have also a price label that you maybe want to use uh, you just uh, put them when you want to label uh, label what price level you have i don't use those a lot and actually yeah arrows and uh, some uh, flag uh, mark ups you just if you want to flag anything i don't use those down here you have a uh, lot of uh, things that you uh, need to use uh, if you uh, if you are elliot wave um, trader you have um, many of them here you have uh, these uh, uh, harmonic patterns a b equal c d patterns you have uh, triangle patterns you have three dries patterns and the head and shoulders and as you see i mark the head and shoulders as uh, as favorite and it goes up here 
because uh, I use that uh, pattern a lot uh, and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, how I how I did uh, to get uh, only this cause uh, when you apply default on this one it gonna good it looks it looks like that I think that looks uh, very very ugly <laughs> so I usually uh, take the opacity to zero on this and this also let's go back to style and I have black text as you see bold and nothing else because um, I don't like uh, all those lines but of course if you need them you just uh, make a stronger opacity and the uh, and they will show uh, on uh, on the chart yeah as you see here but for me I like uh, my chart uh, clean and no lines so uh, that's why I only have um, uh, black text <clears throat> if you uh, really need those lines to see the neckline and stuff like this you can just add them and um, all you uh, want to do is up here uh, you have also uh, an AB equal CD pattern. You just click where uh, you think they are and you will get also as you see here you will get the retracement how far did the price retrace uh, back up to this top yeah you see them here and uh, how far it retraced uh, also here or how far it long it went after uh, this leg uh, the CD leg yeah um, I used to use it at the beginning but uh, uh, many of you see me just uh, draw a line when I use my uh, uh, AB equals CD only I do I do it like this but if you like uh, to use the tool it is uh, in here to the left yeah so um, <coughs> As you see here, you can just uh, try them on your own. If you tried, if you trade uh, harmonics, as you see, X to A, A to B. Let's say you have a pattern here, and here it goes. Um, if <laughs> or uh, yeah, let's say you you think your pattern gonna end here. So uh, it's also useful, very useful tool to use. And you can change if you do uh, if you do it like this and you see it's wrong you can just moving clicking on by clicking on the letter you can uh, move them one by one yeah or if you want to move it uh, all, all all the whole pattern you just uh, hold uh, any of the line and just draw drag uh, <coughs> a very good tool uh, is the long short positions I use a lot and uh, if let's say that we want to measure if you want to go uh, short you can measure uh, how big is your stop loss in this case your stop is gonna be as you see in the text here 94 pips and you're shooting for uh, these lows back down here uh, your uh, take profit is uh, 125 pips and uh, it's a 1.18% uh, target and when price <coughs> as you see here when price uh, enters this area it changes the color it's get darker darker red or darker green depends on when you put it yeah as you see now it's darker green that means that the price is somewhere here and it show you how many pips uh, in profit you are right now it's 69 68 pips at the moment yeah and uh, you can make it uh, big uh, or uh, small you just draw uh, on this circle you hold it and you drag and you make it uh, the size you want it yeah or you can just click on it and uh, move it all I when I put when I use uh, these I always lock them because I, I don't want to uh, 
uh, change them accidentally so uh, I usually used to lock them uh, for that reason so uh, those two I use them a lot uh, the long and short position and of course you have uh, some measurement tools here uh, as price uh, range if you want to make a measurement uh, it's gonna give you how many pips uh, this whole move was 189.3 pips um, I use this from time to time but not much uh, you can also uh, click on uh, this measurements tool when you click on it it will basically do the same thing for you at, and uh, you can count bars by clicking on it also if you want to count how many bars uh, you have uh, in this up move as you see here it says 11 bars that makes 3 days and 19 hours on 4 hour candles and it showed you also how many pips it went up and this here is uh, just icons so uh, if you want to uh, uh, I almost use only uh, these uh, arrows from this and you can same thing you can change the colors and uh, how big you want them you just click on uh, this and uh, make them uh, big and small and rotate them as you want yeah so um, there is a lots and lots of icon uh, in here <laughs> uh, but uh, you usually don't need uh, so many so um, yeah it's up to you and of course zoom in and zoom out you have a magnet mode that means that uh, your tools when you draw something gonna be gonna always go to uh, uh, to touch candles yeah i don't use that you have uh, stay in drawing mo mode that means when i make this line i don't need i don't need to click another time to make a new line yeah but if you close this you draw a new line and then it's off you have to choose the line again otherwise you can draw a new line so this is only uh, uh, stay in uh, drawing mode I use it uh, it is on in my case and you can lock all drawings on your chart and you can hide all drawings and then show them back in this one and you can clear remove all drawings you have also this one that gonna show you a list of all your drawings in the chart let me show you that uh, when you click on this one you're gonna get a list on all your drawings if you want to delete the ABC pattern or the arc or anything else you delete it from the object tree okay are we good so far uh, I hope I'm not boring you but uh, yeah <laughs> uh, there is a lots of things to talk about another uh, good uh, thing that I use in trading view is comparing uh, this button up here uh, you can compare uh, any other symbol you want to use you just you click on it here and click on add symbol up up here let's say you want to compare uh, euro usd with uh, gold yeah you just write in gold in here and enter and as you see we've got gold in the background if you change to the daily the gold in the background gonna also change to the daily uh, when you look uh, to correlated uh, pairs it's very good to use and uh, I do use this a lot because it's easier to see uh, when you have the both in the same chart yeah and uh, here <laughs> what is good with this as you see here uh, gold was correlated all the time with the euro USD but not this last uh, these last days they weren't correlated and when something like this happens 
uh, you're gonna maybe uh, start thinking one of them is wrong which one is wrong so it's very good uh, this one is very good tool to use to take off this you only click on uh, the uh, up left corner on this minus here uh, you see if you if it's not show it's a plus button you click on show or hide and then you have it here gold TVC you just click on that and it's gone uh, you can also add the indicators from up here you just click on it and search I have also a favorite section uh, you can add any uh, indicator from here as you see all, all those with stars that means that I have them in my favorites so I usually click on favorites and uh, let's say I want to add the moving average uh, let's click three times and as you see up here I got three moving average and every one of them you can hide them by just clicking on the eye show or hide you can click on settings and let's say I want uh, one ten, uh, 10 periods uh, let's change the color of this one by clicking on style and make it red and uh, make it a little bit thicker so we can you so you can see it better then the next one I want it to be 20 and the black color and a little bit thicker here we go and the third one let's make it 50 and use dark blue on that one and here we go <coughs> these are the moving average we, we are using if you want to hide any of them you just click on the eye they as you see they still here but only hide it if you click on delete they will uh, vanish uh, and you have to add them again but the eye is very useful because if you don't want to use the 10 you maybe want to use the 50 for now you just show the 50 and hide the other every indicator you add you're gonna see it on this list let's add an RSI and here we go as you see we got the RSI uh, down here I like them to be a little bit smaller and I like my RSI to be on the upper side of the chart and uh, you as you see here you can't see them uh, you have to hover above them yeah you have this arrow to the upside it says move up and uh, you have toggle to maximize panel so you can see it this way instead of the chart so I want it to the upside so you click only one time on the arrow it go up and if you want to move it back down you just click back on the same arrow yeah uh, if you want to hide the RSI for a while just or anything uh, indicator uh, if you want to hide it uh, for a little bit you only double click on the chart itself and it gonna uh, it gonna hide or to get it back you double click again and as you see you have hide symbol here if you want to hide it you have settings and uh, I use uh, seven RSI so um, seven period I put a seven here and you can change the style I use 75 and 25 for borders for oversold and overbought and of course as you see you can change uh, the color of the upper band and the lower band those here and you can change uh, also the color of the background to whatever color you want nothing special about that it's up to everyone what you want to use and the same goes here you can save this RSI now as a template yeah precision default or not uh, scale right scale left uh, if you want it to be a line or if you want it to be a histogram 
you can change that uh, all those settings in here of or you want an area it's up to you I only use lines and if you want to make those border lines a little bit thicker or uh, or you want them not dotted as you see here you can change everything you want so uh, that's why I once again that's why I like trading view so um, yeah what do we have more to show you guys um, in here you can uh, also um, when you enter the settings uh, lots of all the things I did now you can uh, get them f by only left uh, click uh, hitting the uh, right button on your mouse and you will uh, get uh, all these if you want if you've copied anything you can paste it uh, in here as you see uh, this one this call out just uh, paste it you have uh, you can add alert if you uh, where your uh, cross is if your cross is here and you uh, right click on uh, on the mouse you're gonna get you just uh, add alert and uh, you have trading uh, if you have uh, if you have your uh, broker uh, as uh, in uh, that have a trading view platform you can also trade or if you only paper trades you can uh, put the sell limit or buy uh, stop order or you can enter in trading properties and uh, if you want to show positions show orders as you see here now when we click show orders uh, my sell limit order and stop loss and take profit this is a paper trading only uh, on this account uh, they show up uh, here if you want to show uh, your old executions when you click on it as you see you see these uh, arrows the sell and buy uh, arrows you can show them but i usually don't show them because i want uh, my chart clean uh, you can show and hide uh, this this uh, sell uh, buy and sell uh, panel so by just using uh, and uh, if you uh, you require order confirmation before uh, putting any order and stuff like that yeah um, you have also receipt chart uh, and then you have you're gonna receipt everything back uh, uh, if you uh, hit this button um, the chart uh, gonna go back if let's say we are here and you click receipt you it gonna get you back here yeah when you click properties you have uh, then you can choose uh, if you want uh, candles or if you want uh, bar charts or if you want uh, hollow candle chart as you see and you get uh, these colors on the chart you can choose bars or candles as as I have you can also change uh, the color uh, if you want them uh, let's say um, you want green uh, and red for um, bull and beer candles you can also change uh, the border color of your candles to black or an another uh, color and the wicks price line if you want to show the price line uh, over the chart as you see here you just click on that if you want to make it thicker and uh, same uh, goes here you can save uh, this now as your uh, own uh, chart you can also uh, play uh, with the background and uh, the color of the background of course we don't want the red <laughs> if you want grid or not same things about the, uh, what information you want in the chart you can just check uh, check those or check off 
the watermark is about this text in the background uh, where it says Euro USD daily if you want to make it uh, more visible or if you want to uh, the opacity to be lower you just change that down here or if you want it in red instead you can change all that uh, in uh, in this section here yeah and if you want your crosshair to be thicker as you see here you can make the make it very very thick uh, it's up to you and if you want it dotted or not dotted is also very possible to uh, change uh, in this section and if you want it very dark then you just change the color of that uh, let's go back to properties one more time yeah that was about the background you can change also time zone uh, you can add the uh, session breaks you just uh, click on that uh, for some reason I am not able to click on that right now but uh, I usually you just check that and it's gonna uh, give you uh, sessions uh, all the sessions breaks as uh, vertical lines uh, here where this is the start and the end of the session yeah um, trading we I've showed you that uh, before and event and alerts let's say you want to show all the economic events and the news you just check them show only future events or if you want all to see history and as you see now they show uh, down here uh, all the all the upcoming news gonna show down here you just click on them and uh, it's gonna show you what uh, news uh, is ahead of you yeah and as you see we have 20 news on the US dollar and uh, it you can't see all of them here so you have to go to the to the calendar to, to the right here to see them uh, that's a way also if you uh, if you forget any news by any reason uh, it's gonna help you to see before uh, you taking any trade that there is new upcoming news so you just click on them and then you see uh, what news uh, are ahead of you i used to take them off because um, uh, yeah, once again uh, I, I i want a clean chart so um, i don't use them um, I used to look uh, on what upcoming news are coming in the beginning of the week and uh, from day to day uh, I look on Forex Factory or in this calendar here to the right yeah uh, you can also show uh, people's ideas by clicking here on this section all ideas if you click on show all ideas it's gonna uh, actually show you every idea on your USD in that time frame uh, now as you see all the ideas that everyone on trading view published about your USD gonna be here and um, I don't use that uh, I only have uh, ideas of uh, my ideas of if or if you want to uh, put the ideas of people uh, that you follow uh, and uh, the people that follow you then you're gonna get only those ideas of the ones you follow or uh, the ones that follows you gonna shows but I usually used to have my ideas only so um, yeah guys I think we've now uh, I've now showed you everything uh, these arrows are of course if you want to uh, change anything let's say that you uh, put this line and uh, then you delete it and you want it back you just click back on the arrow and it's gonna show again and uh, this one here is to go full screen 
and then if you have a, a pro uh, account then you can have this section where you can have multi charts on uh, you can have up to eight charts actually as you see here this can be very useful uh, when you trade and you want to see uh, let's say you want to see the euro on the one hour in this one the four hour and uh, let's take the 15 minutes on this one uh, four hour on this one and the daily on this one and let's say that we want the Dixie in this down section you just double click uh, you just click on the section you want to add uh, a pair to we activate this section now and we put gold down here and uh, you can change uh, the time frame of uh, the, sec the section you are in you just click on this uh, this section and change to the time frame you want let's say that you want to see a bigger dixie you just click down here on the toggle to maximize chart and there you go you have the the dixie on the one hour here if you want to go back you just click down here and then you have your chart uh, this is possible only on the, on the uh, uh, pro uh, accounts yeah and uh, what you uh, can also do uh, you can click on sync drawing on all charts so when I draw on EURUSD anything as you see here it draw the same lines on all time frames and if you don't want uh, that to happen you just click back on that shut it off and then when I draw a new line now this line is only on the one hour time frame as you see we don't have that line on the 15 uh, minute time frame so that is also uh, very useful is you if you want to use it because if you want to put a box here and you want to that box to show on all time frame then you can activate that and uh, as you see it draw the same uh, box in both of them yeah and when I change place of that box here it change place in all the all the others so uh, that's a good one uh, to use too and uh, when you save any chart you uh, you just uh, click on uh, save lay layout and it's gonna get save it you just give it a name and then you can load all your chart layout from uh, back up here yeah so that is also very very useful if you um, when you're trading to see uh, several chart uh, at the same time you only click on that and split the screen you can also link the symbol the same symbol to all uh, symbol to all the chart you can uh, link uh, the same interval to all the chart uh, but uh, and track time on all charts so we have a 60 minute here uh, let me show you let's go four hours here so when I put my cross here it show me exactly in the four hour chart when on which candle I am right now even though this is this uh, 60 minute chart yeah so that is also useful if you want to look at the specific level in uh, two uh, two charts so um, when you put your cross here to the left it show you exactly at what candle uh, on the four hour that uh, that was <coughs> so that is also another good thing why you uh, should uh, maybe uh, choose uh, the pro but um, yeah you can live without it too it's up to you uh, down here you have uh, your trading panel this is uh, my uh, demo account and as you see uh, you just click this or click it back it go back up and you can change how big you want it and uh, you can see your positions uh, here as you see those trade but uh, we don't we are not showing um, positions right now so I go back to trading 
show orders and uh, here you go uh, now you have uh, the positions on this on the chart um, but uh, you can also the same thing goes here this is paper, paper trading now but if you want to log into your uh, to your uh, broker you it's it gonna show back down here uh, the same at the at the same area another good thing is the text notes because here you can t uh, take uh, notes and uh, if you let's say uh, um, your hot list for the week hot list uh, this is a title and uh, euro usd Aussie USD. Uh, so, and then just uh, hit the enter, and you have it. As you see now, it's saved here. Uh, you can also add text note to uh, to any pair. So, if you want to add uh, a text note to Aussie USD, you just um, right click on that and um, you click on add notes where is it where is it where is it add text note to Aussie USD uh, by next week and now as you see back here uh, to the left you have this when you click on it it's gonna take you to Aussie USD let's try it one more time and you go back to Aussie USD as you see here yeah so uh, that's a good thing also to have uh, notes uh, I use it from time to time add some notes and if you don't want it anymore you just click the delete button and it will go and you have screeners that show you some uh, stocks and uh, lots of uh, lots of things here about performance what stock performing good and what not uh, you have a pine editor if you uh, use to program any uh, editors you can program it here and you have a strategy tester because there is a lots of strategies that you can download from here and test them on uh, your uh, pair that you trade i don't use that uh, at all So guys, I think that was it, uh, about one and a half hour now, uh, once again, um, <laughs> a very long video, but uh, yeah, I want you to uh, know as much as, uh, as you can, so uh, that's, why, that's why it took uh, such time. Um, do you have any question we have we, uh, before we... Uh, we end this uh, section or session uh, or do you want me to go over to look at any pair or do you want to say thank you and bye bye for today <laughs> I don't see any other questions or any requests for pairs so uh, thank you thank you very much for being here guys uh, don't forget to uh, go and subscribe to my channel too on YouTube because uh, I use to do my weekly uh, overviews on my own channel and uh, here is uh, I'm gonna put the link on the chart so you can see it uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba, where is it here we go so uh, yeah here is the link guys um, go over to youtube.com uh, and uh, do a search for Pierre Abdelahad or Abu Zahra or as you see here on the screen and uh, subscribe to my channel too because as you know many of you uh, used to see me doing uh, those uh, weekly overviews and i have also uh, some tutorials video uh, too so um, 
why not join us uh, every Sunday and uh, get ready for the trading week yeah so uh, thank you very much for being here I hope uh, that uh, you um, uh, you have uh, good information from this video and uh, yeah see you next week I hope uh, I will have time to do another session for Forex Gods uh, YouTube uh, uh, channel uh, and uh, next week we will try to have a trading session as usual yeah so uh, thank you very much and uh, see you out there guys bye bye